Let's go now to the tips here about the topic of today, how to have dialogue with your partner, how to solve these topics. Keep this phrase, the greatest distance between two people is the misunderstanding. When people don't understand themselves, the distance grows longer between them. They no longer want to talk or dialogue because they're not understanding each other. In the misunderstanding, it's quite common with the couple. So our first tip is the following. The first tip for you to solve it. The problem has to be understood. When you will discuss a topic with your partner, your focus must be to get to a common understanding on what the problem is, what the question is that you want to solve. Instead of attacking the partner as the problem, you have to separate the problem from the partner, to put the problem in front of the both of you, like it's a table, that you are examining the problem, put on the table everything about the problem, that there may be a mutual understanding what is the question that is being tried to be solved? Because when you don't understand what is the problem at first, so much less you're going to be able to reach a solution. Yes, normally this is what happens in these moments that you want to speak about the problem because of the bad experience of DTR. Because DTR, they many times they use it to what? To speak their mind, to curse to be a very stressful moment, but obviously the person is not going to want to have DTR because we we have, to, you know, when we say we want to speak, it everyone gets scared, like, oh no, because they need to know, you have to know this. If you want to, to be understood, you have to take away all the emotion, all the frustration, all the anger that you may have, that you need to explain to your husband, to the one that you're dating. If you start with frustration, with irritation, with anger, he's not going to see the problem. He's only going to feel attacked. He's only going to feel bad. And he'll also want to trigger and to also fight with you, to argue with you. And this is not what we're speaking here. So, look at this. For you to be understood, what must happen? Put the next screen. For you to understand involves two things. First of all, to explain clearly as Christiane said, to explain clearly, it's not to explain accusing, pointing the finger, cursing, blaming the other person. That actually does not make anything clearer. That makes the mist to be installed in your midst. Because when the anger rises, the desire to defend, to counterattack rises, then there's no more understanding. So you need to search, look, to put the facts on the table. What is the problem that we're trying to solve? Look, we are going to buy a house or we are going to keep on living with rent for the next three years. What are we going to do it? We're going to give a step ahead and buy a house or we're going to keep on living on the house of my parents. So let's put everything in regards to this problem on the table. So your point of view, your understanding, the conditions that you have, everything must be clear for you to understand the situation. Not who is right or wrong. Maybe you think that the house needs to be bought today. The other things that they need to keep on living on rent. There might be a discord. It's not a problem. But before you decide in every problem, everything about the problem must be put on the table for you to weigh the pros and the cons. That's how you are understood. That's how you understand the situation. You search for the max amount of information about the problem and the information is put on the table that both may be able to see the situation. Very well. Second thing is to listen without assuming. That's what many cannot do. The partner is still speaking and you are interrupt and says, no, no, I already, I already understood. understood, I, already I know understood. what you want to say, you always come with this talk. <laughs> Do not interrupt the person. Don't assume that you know what she or he wants to say. Listen without assuming, listen with an open mind. You know, this is intelligence. Mm -hmm. Because when you have the patience to hear the other person, you're being intelligent. Because you're giving the opportunity to understand. 
when you just go and you don't allow the other person to speak, you're already presuming and you're already in your conclusion. And you are, you know, ignoring completely what the other person said. And the other person doesn't want to hear because you already think that you understood everything. So and then you go to another problem, you create another problem because you don't understand me, you don't give me attention, you don't give me value, so, etc. if you focus on these two points to understand the problem, explain clearly that there may be an understanding, listening without assuming, then finally the final hint that I give you is do not remain married with your idea, opinion, as if it was the only one or the best one. When both explain the situation well and listen well to each other, maybe the end of the conversation is that your idea was the best or maybe not. Maybe, now that you listen to your partner in every matter involved, maybe your idea was not the best. The partner's idea was the best. So don't have any shame on giving in and saying to the other, yes, let's do what you said, let's agree here, a combined solution. Doing like this, you will be able to come out of this dilemma, this impasse that maybe you are going through. Did you like this? Would you like to hear it again? Listen to it as many times as you need until this content becomes part of you. Don't forget to leave your like, comment and share. See you next time.